The goal of the Cutlery Cavern is to share information of the history of traditional pattern knives and also to review affordably priced knives available for both the collector and user alike. Without further ado, let's see what's up for today's episode. Today I'll be looking at the Sunfish Knife by Trixie and Milo. It's also known as Mac the Knife. Um, and before we go on, Trixie and Milo is not a knife company. Trixie and Milo is a company that produces all sorts of um, novelty items and stuff. And one of the items that they happened to create was the Trixie and Milo Sunfish. And that's what we'll be taking a look at. So hold your horses and we'll get this video started. Okay, before I show you the knife, let me show you the packaging that it comes in. And this is your box. Uh, you're only as sharp as your knife. Mac the Knife, a genuine Trixie and Milo product. And on the back, it says, This classic sunfish style pocket knife harkens back to the days when every man in America carried a blade with him wherever he went. My grandfather always said, a smart man will always keep his powder dry, his knife sharp, and his whiskey handy. And on the bottom, it explains the knife. This Trixie and Milo pocket knife has a hand sharpened blade made from superior quality 7CR17 MOV grade stainless steel, solid brass bolsters, and an original Americana style design printed on the handle. A knife is not a toy. True words have not been spoken. So cheers Trixie and Milo. And inside you have the knife. In this case this is the uh, Sailor Girl. Let's try and get that without the light glaring off of it. Uh, it says hold fast on either side of her. Let me pull her on out. On the backs they all say stay sharp. I think they have about six different designs. I only have two of them. I'm not sure if I'll be picking up the other ones. Um, but they are all pretty nice knives. Uh, like I said, here's the Sailor Girl. The other one I have is the cat with a stomach for a, or a clock for a stomach. And uh, the knives are actually pretty well made. Blades are nice and uh, tight. As you can see, it doesn't move or anything, and they uh, have a half stop going for it. Now, here's a, a frost one uh, that I also have, and I brought it for comparison. And this is a really good frost knife also, despite being made by frost. This one's really good. Um, I like the, uh, the etch on it. This is like one of 500, it says. And it's got that sunfish etch on it. Well, I'll talk more about this knife at a different one when I'm actually reviewing this knife. In any case, this is typical of what you have on a sunfish. Big spear master uh, and a secondary pin blade, which is almost the size of a spear master on like a canoe. Because as you can tell, uh, the sunfish is not a small pocket knife. These are usually a back carry knife. And this one's uh, coming in at four and a quarter, just as the uh, the ones by Trixie and Milo do. They almost look exactly the same until you open the secondary blade. It has a cap lifter screwdriver, which is pretty cool. I've never seen that on a sunfish before. And these are the only ones I've ever seen like that. And that's why, that's the main reason I picked it up. The, uh, the uh, celluloid covered uh, design on the handles are really cool, but really this is the big selling point for this knife. I'm surprised no other knife maker has bothered to come out with such an idea. It's a novel idea, really smart plan for them, and it just makes a really great looking knife. Uh, as for, I mentioned, the blades are really tight. This one has a little bit of wobble, but not bad. This one, snug as a bug in a rug. Hey, as long as they're looking at 1920s, 1930s stuff, why not go for it? But good quality knives and a good snap on them. 
really happy with them. So if you're interested, you can go to their website. I think they go for like around 25 bucks or so on there. You can usually find them for around that, or sometimes a little bit less. Love to stay sharp on the back. But uh, sunfish in general tend to be uh, more expensive than a lot of the other pocket knives out there anyway. So 25 bucks really isn't that bad of a price for a sunfish. And if you want one with a cap lifter, these are the only ones in town. So there you have it. That's my take on the uh, uh, Sunfish by Trixie and Milo. I really like them. I think they're pretty solid and pretty good. And they're sharp. I would do a, a paper test on them. But uh, every time I try to do a paper test, I crap out when I'm doing it on in front of a camera. So I don't even bother anymore. But uh, trust me, pretty good knife. Uh, nice and big. Definitely a pocket full. But really cool looking too. Okay, I have a few uh, still shots of the knives to, to follow. Let me once again reiterate that Trixie and Milo is not a uh, knife company. So if you're looking for for it in that fashion, you're going to have a hard time. Um, they are sold through a couple like boutiques and stuff. But mostly, uh, you can also always find them at the Trixie and Milo website. I'm not plugging them or anything. I bought the knives because of, uh, like I mentioned, that can opener on the back. I'm sorry, uh, but they're really just kind of cool knives. And uh, uh, these are the two that I have. They've also got like an ace of spades, a skull and crossbones, um, a bear, and a few other designs on the front handles. They all say stay sharp on the back. Uh, and the back colors will match whatever the front colors are. Uh, and like I said, they also have really good tight blades. I'm really impressed with them. Like I mentioned, one of them had a little bit of wobble. Um, but uh, that amount of wobble is really insignificant compared to uh, knives I've gotten from other uh, knife makers that have their stuff made in China. And that's where these knives are made. They're made in China. Um, and I suspect they're made at the same factory that the Rough Rider knives are made at. And that's the quality that I would say they're at, about the same quality as a Rough Rider knife. Um, which, uh, if you're familiar with Rough Rider, then you know the knives are pretty damn good. And uh, the overall stats on it, uh, four and a quarter inches uh, closed. The main blade is about three inches long. The blade still, they say, is 7CR17 MOV, which is basically 440A stainless steel. Uh, like I mentioned, the cap lifter screwdriver is the secondary blade. It's about an inch and a half, inch and three quarter long. It's got uh, brass liners and bolsters. The uh, pins are hidden behind the uh, celluloid handles, and uh, the springs are stainless. Um, the I'm not sure if the handles are actually celluloid or if they're acrylic or whatever, but in any case, uh, they do seem to be well fastened, and they're holding on there really well. So I'm very happy with them. I'm very pleased with the uh, quality of the knife. So that's what I have to say about my uh, Trixie and Milo sunfishes. Really happy with them. And uh, if you're looking for a, a unique take on a sunfish, these are the only ones I know that have that cap lift or screwdriver. Thanks for watching. Um, there's a question that's going around in the knife community, and I thought it's about time somebody answered it. And that question has perplexed a lot of people for a long time. And that question is, what's the difference between an elephant toenail and a Zippo? That's right, what's the difference between an elephant toenail and a Zippo? And the answer is really quite simple. As pocket knives go, the elephant toenail is really big and heavy and the Zippo it's a little lighter thank you I'll be here all night come again thanks for joining me again if you like what you saw please like and subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends as always comments and corrections are always welcome and insults are cheerfully ignored don't forget to ring that bell if you'd like to be notified of future videos.
come again soon.